Welcome to another episode of Wino Wednesday. I'm Pete. Episode 10. Here we are. My co-host. I'm Justin. Uh, really excited about this week's Wino Wednesday. I really feel like this is going to be a good one. Yes. I do. This is going to be some good stuff. Yes. Uh, Have you done a lot of wine tastings? Yes. I've tasted all the wines. And I'm ready to taste these. All right. So... <laughs> Do we start then? All right. Uh, which which one of these are we going to start off with? Uh, I think we should start with uh, what year is that? Uh, this is a 2000. And, uh, um, this is a uh, um, 2020. In Maine, you get 15 cents back. Mad dog. Oh yeah. Anyway, so uh, what we have is a red grape wine, uh, and this is uh, called an MD. 20 slash 20. Do you know it by anything else? Uh, no, but no. I used to drink this at uh, parties in college. Hmm. I, I also used to drink this. Um, I, I'm surprised it's not still in the brown paper bag. Um, I actually, my fondest memory of this was taking a beer bong of this while in South Padre, Texas. Nice. Fantastic. All right, great. Ooh, definitely grapes. Mmm. What do you have to do first? The S. You have to uh, smell, we have right? To cheers at first. Well, you cheers. gotta do the C. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. I can smell. I can smell an array of. Potpourri. It's definitely fruity. It's a potpourri of. I think I can smell celery. It's a classic mix of grapes with more grapes. Oh, you gotta swirl it. Mmm. It really. Oh, yeah. It tastes like ocean spray uh, cranberry juice. <laughs> but with alcohol. Yeah. I really that's, taste. That's great. Um, like a lot of red, a lot of red. grapes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cheers. Cheers again. I'd pair this with a nice, <laughs> with a nice, I'd with a nice book, maybe <laughs> War and Peace and a fireplace. <laughs> hey, listen, if you're drinking Mad Dog 2020, you're not worried about what food you're eating. Uh, no. No. Um, Probably some like a like a like a nice uh, Casey's pepperoni pizza. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, yeah, like a nice gas station pizza. Yeah, that's what I would. I'd pair this uh, with some French fries. And, with uh, a sausage pizza. <laughs> sausage pizza and some pizza French fries. And some French fries. Yeah, I think that that's probably what it'd go best with. Yeah. Mm. Oh, are we finishing that? Oh, goodness. The history of this wine. Can I have my phone while I do this? Sure. You know that? All right, so the history of this wine, uh, this red grape wine, um, this is actually, um, it's not, contrary to popular belief, it's not Mad Dog. No. It's Mogan David. Mogan David. Mogan David. Um, Shout out to Mogan David. Yeah. Uh, wherever you are. Uh, it's a company based out of Westfield, New York. Um, they make wine. Hmm, that's weird. Um, but um, they're held by the parent company, The Wine Group, in Livermore, California. Um, I think that we work with some hospitals in Westfield, New York. Do we do that? Yeah. Yeah. We've got a lot of openings there, too. Um, the last one that I remember is we have a L&D opening in... Uh, Westfield right now. <laughs> um, Mogan David is Yiddish pronunciation of the Hebrew Magen David. Our next wine is a 2017 Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill flavored citrus wine. Mm. 
Mm. Oh yeah. That's and, and this one. Yo, you can really smell this it. This is it just sparkling. Mm. Like this is sparkling. I feel like there's um, some Seven Up in here. It passes the smell test. You need to zoom in on that right there. It's beautiful. That's really good. Is it? Mm. What kind of flavors do you taste in that? Uh, Strawberry. <laughs> you know, I really think it is a refreshing taste of lush, ripe strawberries mm. vented and bottled by Boone's Winery in Modesto, California. That's mm. what it tastes like to me. Yeah. Uh, this no is, grapes in this one. No, not a lot of grape flavoring at all. Just tastes like... Um, it tastes like a, really what it tastes like is a, is a hill of strawberries. Like yeah. if I went to a hill and I started drinking or eating strawberries. And if that hill of strawberries was in Modesto, California. Right, where Boone's Farm is. Which, you know, speaking of Modesto, we have, uh, we have job openings in Modesto. Yeah, lots of uh, labor and delivery and uh, PCU you know, some ICU, jobs. you know, so. Yeah. Contact your... Uh, recruiter for a pay package and start date. This kind of, this wine right here takes me back. Yeah. This takes me back to like, I don't know, like junior year of high school. <laughs> okay, junior year of college. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> junior year. Uh, yeah, we used to, this, this was always like, how much was this? Does anybody know? Yeah, it was usually like three bucks. In college, it was three bucks. Yeah. Yeah, it was three bucks. But I, I don't, like, I don't think I could drink more than a glass of that. It's so sweet. No, I was, and that's the thing is that like when when I was younger, we used to drink like three bottles of that. Yeah. And just wake up the next day, and it was just like all like sitting right here, like right here. It was terrible. It's horrible. All right, it's really good. We are here now with um, Richard Smith, um, who is going to go and tell us about the history that he knows about uh, MD 2020. Do you know what the MD stands for? Have you, have you covered that at all? Uh, we have, but yes. you, can, you can recover it. Mogan David, is that mm -hmm. the actual place, I guess? Is yeah, that... did you know the Yiddish term? No, no. Mogan David. Oh. <laughs> is that true, actual Yiddish? I believe so. All right. Okay, so here's here's what I understand about uh, Mogan David 2020. The grapes that they use for this are actually the leftover grapes from the other wine, the actual like good wine mm. that they make. And so then the leftover grapes they use to make this. Which is crazy because you could never tell the difference. I, I don't think you could tell the difference, no. Not well, it smells like it though. It's, there's, you drank this. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we drank that. Okay. Uh, we did. Okay, well. I, yeah, so that's that's the story as I understand it. They use the leftover grapes from the actual wine to make this this awesome. What most people would discard, they put into there. They they uh, use it all. I love a good underdog story. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. Do you, did you know where that came from? Did you know? I did not know. No. I had no idea. Uh, do you know what the 2020 stands for? No, no. Do not you? Either. I would think like after you drank all of this, you're definitely not seen. Like before you drink it, you're seen 2020. After, you're really squinty. No. Maybe that's what it means. Yeah, I mean, we'd agree to disagree. Maybe it means like 20%, no, I don't even know. It's the wine company. <laughs> <laughs> Why she gotta ruin it for us? Wow, thanks, saying. Sammy. Right. All right, oh. hey, all right. I guess it's the Sammy wine company. In here. I'm good, I'm good. <clears throat> all right. No. Uh, what do you know about Boone's Farm? Boone's Farm, I know I drank a lot of this in high school. Er, college. <laughs> college. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I don't know, like, why, how it's made. I have no, I have no it's clue. It's in Modesto. I it is think, Modesto, I, California. I don't think that's right. No, we have a lot of L&D and uh, PCU needs there. We do, but I don't think this is, oh, look, yes. it is. It's made in Modesto. Mm -hmm. Distributed in Puerto Rico by CC1 Beer Distributors. Uh, I, I know don't that. get that. They ship it from Modesto to Puerto Rico? I guess. Well, yeah. And then back into... Mm -hmm. But have you ever had a Boone's Farm in Puerto Rico? You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Have you been to Puerto Rico? All right. New goal. Go to Puerto Rico. Have Boone's Farm. And drink Farm. Boone's Farm. Yeah. 
That is a bucket list. Yes. Bucket a, re list. a refreshing taste three, of forever. lush, ripe strawberries, yes. vented and bottled by Boone's Winery, Modesto, California. I think we should at least have one of our nurses go to Boone's Winery in Modesto. Do we have and, anybody in uh, Modesto? I think we do. Yeah, probably. But yeah. we're going to reach out to a nurse, and she's going to go to Boone's Winery in Modesto mm -hmm. and send us bottles of Boone's Farm back. Yeah. Wouldn't it be the same thing that we could buy here? Or in Puerto Rico. We'll also have a nurse go to Puerto Rico, yes. buy Boone's Farm there, and send us yes, bottles back to Puerto Rico. Yes, we need to have somebody try Puerto, the Puerto Rican Boone's Farm. This sounds, I think this is a great idea. This sounds really expensive. I think this is a great idea. Wouldn't I think be, this is what puts Atlas on the map. Wouldn't this be the same stuff, though? It would be the same stuff. <laughs> yeah. okay. But do Maybe. you know for sure? Not until we try it. Right. Exactly. Well, you would think that you would think that Sprite tastes the same in America and in Mexico. And it does not. It does not. Okay, you got a point there. You have a definite point there. So, okay, well, yeah, let's do it. Go. All right. Well, right. well, thanks um, for yeah, I think that's the end of Wednesday. Thank Appreciate you so much. It. Anytime I could share my wine knowledge with you, I would. Uh, yeah, this is great. I'm, I'm glad that you have so much knowledge of such vintage. So much. Um, Popery's wines. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Um, how does she usually end this? Weren't you going to end? That's it. You just end it. Oh, that's it? Just fade to black. <laughs> <laughs>